This week we're going to expand on what we learned last week. So if you don't have last week's assignment done, please go back and watch the video and set your circuit up the same way that I have it here. Uh, this is the same way that we did it last week. So last week we used a potentiometer to brighten and dim an LED. This week we're going to use it for a different purpose. We're going to actually use it to make an LED flash on and off at a certain speed depending on where the potentiometer is set to. So set up your circuit like we've got it here and then open up your code and let's just go through what we got to do to make this happen. So the first thing we need to do is set up our pins that we're going to use. So we're going to define our pins. So hashtag define and then we're going to do LED1 at pin 9 is where I have mine set up. And then we're going to do a hashtag define POT, which is our potentiometer. And that one is on pin A0. Make sure that we capitalize the A and that we actually have a 0 there and not an O. Okay, then we need to set up a variable, which is going to be the time, the delay time that our LED stays on for. So let's start with int, which is an integer, and we'll call it delay, delay time. And then we'll set that originally equal to zero and end it with a semicolon. All right, so that should be all that we need to do for the initial setup. All right, when we get to our void setup, which is what happens one time, we normally set up our pin modes here. One thing I want to start working on is when we write code, anything inside the two uh, squiggly brackets needs to be uh, tabbed in one tab. So let's start with a tab and then we'll say pin mode LED1, comma, and then that's going to be an output, as usual. Okay, then we need to do the same thing. Pin mode, POT, comma, and our pot is an input. All right, and that should be all we need in the void setup area. So let's just put a couple of labels here. This is the LED one. This is our potentiometer. Okay, all right, so that's all good. Now down here in the void loop, same thing. We need a tab in, which it looks like this thing automatically tabs it in a, a little bit, so we're going to start using that. Okay, so when we get to our void loop, we need to find out what our potentiometer is, potentiometer is doing first. So we're going to do, um, we're going to set our delay time equal to our analog read. We are reading what's going on on the potentiometer, and that is the POT. So we're going to analog read the potentiometer that's called POT. We name that up here on A0. So that's hard coded. A0 is POT is always going to be A0 no matter what. So what we want to do is read that that value, and we're going to set our variable, which is delay time. We're going to set our value of our our variable to whatever that analog read is. Once we've done that, then we can go ahead and tell our LED what we want to do. So we want to digital write and then we're going to say LED one comma high. So we've turned our LED on. Then we're going to tell it how long we want it to, to, delay, to delay for. So let's make sure we spell this right. So our delay time Remember our delay function for our, from our very first session? Our delay time is delay time. That's our variable. That's what we're going to get from the potentiometer. And then we'll tell our LED to turn off. So we say digital right LED one comma low and end it with an semicolon. 
All right, so once we've told it to go low, then we need it to delay just a little longer. So we will go back to our delay function and we'll say delay time. And end it with a semicolon. So what's happening here is we are reading every time through this loop. This is looping thousands of times per second. Every time this through this loop, we're looking at the delay time. We're saying, okay, let's look at our pot potentiometer and see what number is on there and see if anything's been changed. If it has, then we're going to set delay time to that to that value. And then we're going to write our LED pin, which is pin 9. We're going to write it high, which turns our LED on. We're going to leave it on for the length of our delay time, which is whatever that potentiometer reading is. Then we're going to turn it off with our low command, and then we're going to delay for that amount of time again. So let's just go ahead and run this and see if it'll work. All right, so let's get out here where we can see what's going on. And let's turn our potentiometer down. So as you can see, it's blinking a lot faster now. And if I bring it all the way down, it's going to blink so fast that you're barely going to see that it's off. And if I take it all the way to the highest number, it's going to blink very slowly, which in our case, if you remember the total, the, the, the biggest number that our potentiometer puts out is 1,023. So we know that this is 1,023 milliseconds delay time between when it's high and when it's low and then when, between when it's low and then becomes high again. So this week, I'm going to add an extra assignment on top of this. And what I want you to do is I want you to create an LED2 and then I want you to have the LED2 do exactly the opposite of what this one's doing so they should blink back and forth keep in mind you will not need a new delay all you need to do is digital write your LED to opposite of what this one is here and here okay so make sure that you don't forget to add that part to your assignment when you turn it in I'm not going to set it up you know how to set up another LED um, you know how to do it uh, set up the pin modes and you know how to do the rest of this so you should be able to handle it on your own so send me a message if you have any problems um, in Canvas and um, happy programming.